Hey, welcome to Zach's Tag Turf. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how you can play Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, GTA 5, or pretty much any PC game that you want on your smartphone. So, let's get into it. All right, so the way we're gonna be doing this today is by downloading the app called Moonlight. Moonlight is available on both Android and iOS and pretty much functions the exact same on both. I'll be using my iPhone 7 Plus today as our example. Now, the way Moonlight works is pretty much the exact same way as the Nvidia G force now for Mac service which I made a full video with Nvidia up here and basically you use your main gaming PC to stream the games to your smartphone provided you have an Nvidia graphics card Sorry AMD owners. Now in order for this to work, you're gonna need a decent Wi-Fi connection in your house. Your internet speed is actually irrelevant here as you're only gonna be using your local area network Wi-Fi connection. Having a router with a five gigahertz antenna is definitely preferred. Your gaming PC will also have to have a compatible graphics card to stream. On the Moonlight app store pages, it says any GTX 600 to 1000 series should work. So once you have the app installed and both your computer and phone are connected to your home network, you have to add a host. Click on add host and you'll have to enter the IP address of your gaming PC. If you don't know what that is, click on start, type in CMD and hit enter, then type IP config and you'll see your local IP address next to where it says IPv4 address. Once you've typed that in, you should see your computer paired and hopefully it says online. Before jumping into it though, I would recommend checking out the settings which you can access by hitting that arrow in the upper left hand corner. If you're a little worried about your network speeds or the quality of your phone, I would bump down the bitrate and possibly limit the frame rate to 30 hertz and a resolution to 720p. Personally, I can get away with 60 hertz and 1080p, so I'm gonna go with that. Once you click on the host you just added, you'll be presented with a list of games that are definitely compatible with Nvidia's streaming service. Don't worry though, you should see an option for Steam, and if you click on that, it'll open up Steam Big Picture Mode, and this is exactly how the Steam Link works, which I also reviewed. From here, you can see your entire Steam library and play pretty much whatever you want. Now there are on-screen controls which are fine for games like Stardew Valley, but if you're playing a little bit intensive of a game, then you'll either want to connect a Bluetooth controller to your phone or have any Bluetooth controller connected to your PC and use that, provided you're still in Bluetooth range. My main gaming PC is up on the second floor of my house in the office, and my master bedroom isn't that far from it. My wireless Xbox One controller's range is long enough that I can sit in my bed, my Xbox controller stays connected to my PC, and I can stream the game on my phone. It's pretty baller. So yeah, that's how you can stream games from your PC to your smartphone. Now a couple quick tips before ending this video. First, if you're getting a connection terminated issue or really any issue at all, I would definitely start with reinstalling GeForce Experience. And the second tip is to use basic home networking skills. Definitely don't put something like your router inside the closet and expect to have blazing fast Wi-Fi speeds in your house. Being able to play your Steam library on your phone is a pretty cool concept, but don't take it too seriously. You will experience some lag here and there, and you probably won't be using a keyboard and mouse for this, so just have fun with it and don't complain that you can't play super competitive games like Counter-Strike on it, because that's not what this app is designed for. Well, that wraps up my guide on how you can play PC games on your smartphone. If you guys have any more questions, leave them in the comment section down below. I or hopefully someone else can help you out. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a like down below to help support my channel. And as always, thank you for watching. And please subscribe for more Zach's Tech Turf videos.